Hello, everybody. So let's uh, let's get going here. So hello, Heatley and Herndon and Ahilmi, Moore and Janowski, Whitaker. Hello, Ozuna. Hello. That's great that you guys are all here because today we are going to be doing bubbling cauldrons. In this puzzle, you guys are going to be dropping fish into these bubbling cauldrons. Moore, where would you like to drop fish number one? Okay, the orange one or the blue one? Yes, you're a witch. Yeah. Okay, the blue one. Okay. Ponder, where would you like to drop the second fish or the second frog? Let's make them frogs. Go ahead. Which one? Okay. Ozuna says blue. Let's go with blue. Okay. Number three. I'm not telling you the rules, Janowski. You get to figure them out as you go. Where are you going to drop frog number three? Janowski, go ahead, tell me. The left orange one or the, the, the Whitaker says the green one. One, two, and three are all here, and it blows up. Boom. Now, you guys have to figure out why it blows up. You've been gooped, you all lose. It's a disaster. Okay, try again. Frog number one goes to orange. Go, okay. Yeah, nobody understands here, Ford. Nobody understands. So whenever we put one, two, and three over here, it blew up. So that's the only thing that you guys know yet. I'll go to the next one here. Okay, so um, we're gonna go one orange this time and then two for blue. Okay, what are we gonna do for three? Number three, where do we wanna do it? Yeah, Herndon's crying, he's so sad. Go ahead, three is orange. You guys are still okay, you guys are still okay. So number four, where do you wanna put number four? Moore doesn't understand, nobody understands what's going on here. So if you put it in here, it's gonna blow up. Okay, why is it gonna blow up here? Yeah, oh yeah, you can put number four in blue. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. It doesn't blow up there, that's fine. You're, you're still fine there. So where are you gonna put number five then? So Herndon's got an idea is that they add the four. Okay, um, number, you wanna put the number five in green and that works. Yeah, you can do that, no problem. You can absolutely put that over there. So we have two, four and five over here and one and three over here. You still don't have any idea what's going on, but number six, where do you wanna put number six? Six in orange, you are okay. If you put six over here, it would have blown blown up, okay? So Stinson, you're not that late. So uh, um, nobody knows what's going on here yet. They're trying to figure it out. Um, we're going, if, if you put frog number six over in this bubbling cauldron, it would have blown up. I'm gonna tell you that, but I'm not telling you why it, it would have blown up. You have to figure that out. Herndon's panicking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number seven. Go ahead, where are you going to put number seven? Keep them even. Well, this is an odd one. Okay, let's see. Number seven, where do you think it's gonna go? On the left or on the right? On the Over here on the blue? Okay, if you put it over here, it's gonna blow up, okay? You could put it over here. Now, I'm not telling you why it's going to blow up, but it's going to blow up if you put it over here. If you put it over here, is it going to blow up? Yeah, it's going to blow up there too. So you guys are messed up. Okay, do you want a hint? 
Okay, so um, this one would blow up because of one and six, and this one would blow up because of two and five. Okay, that's your hint. Okay, so I'll leave it over there and we'll go to the next one. See what you can, can do. Yeah, Herndon. So that's right. If two numbers add to the number you're putting in, it will blow up. That's right. So in this magical cauldron, uh, that is the challenge. If you add, uh, if you add a number, and that number is equal to the sum of two already in the pot, boom. That's right. So how high can you get here? So go ahead. Let's try one more time to try to get as high as we can. Number one. Does it really matter where we start with? Probably doesn't really matter. Yeah, if we go left or right, probably doesn't really matter. Let's go, but let's go with orange because um, Janowski says orange. Okay. Number two. Herndon puts a little arrow. With, he, he just used uh, an arrow finger. So I'm going to go with Herndon's cute little response. Um, number three, we have Janowski saying blue. Fair enough. We'll put the number three over there. Number four, do you think you can keep doing this forever? Um, Moore. Um, Moore is suggesting over here. So again, Moore used a, a greater than sign, which also suggested to me that he wanted to put the four over there. Number five, Ford also suggests number five goes over here with his little sign. Okay, there we go. Number six, number six also over here. Okay, fair enough. Number seven, um, Ford is suggesting number seven on this side. And that was a good choice because if Ford had put it over here, three plus four is equal to seven, uh, that would not have been a good choice. That's right. Um, yeah, so that would have blown up, but you're safe. Okay, and number eight. Number eight. What do we do with number eight? Uh, Shukli says over here, and one plus seven is equal to eight. You've been gooped, Shukli. Okay, and Moore says to put it over here. Three plus five is equal to eight. You've been gooped, Moore. So, yeah, you guys are stuck. You can't fit in eight without an explosion. So um, this puzzle is a really quite an old puzzle. It's from 1916, a man named Isay Schur. He was a Jew uh, working in uh, Berlin as the head of the math department there. Um, so he had a pretty sad life. He escaped to Palestine in World War II um, and died, I think on his 66th birthday, a lonely and very poor man. So here we're, we're really celebrating his life and this beautiful puzzle that he created. And he didn't just create it for this very simple um, um, two pot solution. He also went on to explore it for more pots. And that is what we're really going to focus on um, for this, this, uh, the rest of this talk. We're gonna try to get as high as we can for three pots. Now he didn't just stop at three pots. Like any good mathematician, he wanted to know what's the best I can do for two pots? What's the best I can do for three pots? The highest number of frogs that I can add to these pots. Of course, he didn't use frogs. Mathematicians tend to be quite abstract, but I think frogs is kind of more fun. So um, we are going to uh, have our normal cool groups of the superheroes versus the vampires versus the wizards and zombies. So go ahead 
Um, if you are from any group, I will take the first response from that group to put the number one in that pot. Or maybe we should just start off with all the ones going in the same pot. Like, like it, does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. So um, let's just say all of the number ones go in which pot? Yeah, you can check out which uh, group you're part of. Um, the superheroes, if your birthday is January, February, or March, you're with the superheroes. If it's April, May, or June, you're with the vampires. If you're July, August, September, you're with me, with the wizards. If you're October, November, and December, you're with the zombies. So, um, Shukli, you're going to go with uh, number one yellow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say everyone starts with um, the uh, one in the yellow yellow spot. There's no need to get creative there. Okay, number two, I, now it will make a difference. Can you guys see those numbers or are they too small? Are they Are they good for you guys? Yeah, I think you can see them, okay. Um, go ahead, where are we gonna put number two? So each group, um, the first person to respond, I will put them into that place that you want. So we're, um, Herndon is going to go into red for this group. Okay. Um, and Kuzuna also says red for this group. And the zombie, we haven't got a zombie response yet. Oh, zombie is red. Okay, so everyone's choosing red. Uh, have we got a response from January from the from the superheroes yet? Um, yes, we have, and red as well. Okay, so you all chose red. Very uncreative, all of you. Very like sheep. <laughs> okay, so let's see. If you keep on doing this, copying each other, then this is going to be very not interesting. Okay. So you do want to make the numbers a little bit bigger. Let's let's do that. Okay, I'm going to go range group, and I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go range ungroup, and then I have to go over here. And I have to choose style and I can increase them a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's as far as I can go. There. Okay. So let me just get these ones back where they belong. Okay. Done. Okay, there we go. And you guys, that was easy because you guys all chose the same one. Okay. There. Okay, we're back on track. So, number three. Okay, go ahead, people. Suggest number three. Where do we put number three? Blue for the wizard, okay. Yeah, that actually helps just to say which team you're from. Um, three for the zombie, okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, I like that way to communicate with me. That's really easy for me. So I don't have to look at the dates. Uh, blue for the wizard, yeah, I've got the wizards already. I'm just waiting for the superheroes. B for the vampires. B, I'm gonna say that's number two. So the vampires choose to put there, number three over here. Okay, good. Um, so, ponder. Uh, you are putting putting your number right now, the number three, in any one of these pots. Okay, you are trying to get as many of your numbers in there without being gooped, without your pot exploding. 
when does your plot pot explode? Your pot explodes, any one of your three pots explode, whenever a number that you're adding, a, a frog that you're adding, is equal to the sum of two numbers already in that pot. Okay? Okay, blue for the superhero. So we have the only group that's out by themselves are the vampires. They've decided to do something different from everybody else. Okay, good. Number four. Um, six. Number four is uh, red vampire. Red vampire. Okay, number four goes here. Okay, number four goes where for the others? Um, wizard red. Okay, here we go. We've now got the wizard there. Um, and blue for zombie. Okay, and we've got only the superheroes left. Where do the superheroes go here? Uh, yellow for superheroes. Okay, we are now all officially different. Everyone has now got different setups. So, number five, um, for example, if you're the superheroes, you don't want to say the yellow pot because one plus four is equal to five. If you are the vampires, you don't want to say the red pot because two plus three is equal to five. Um, if you're the zombies, you don't care. You can just throw up your hands and toss it like any good vampire. Toss your frog into any pot and you'll be fine. So you don't even have to think. Same with the wizards. We don't have to think either. Okay. And, and why don't you have to think? Because there's no pot where two frogs add up to five. So for the zombies, you've got a pot three plus four is equal to seven. That's not five. And you've got the two other pots. So there's no pot. Um, for the zombies or for the wizards that will add up to five. So you're safe. Okay, let's, let's go for five. Um, so we have wizard yellow. Good. We have um, for the um, vampires, we have... No, for the zombies, we've got red. Got it. For blue for the superheroes. Blue for the superheroes, good. And for the vampires, I see seven. What's seven? We're not at seven, we're at five, Ford. Um, okay, I'm just gonna say that Ford, well, he, well he's not gonna put a, that there. Um, so we're just waiting for the vampires. Vampires yellow, yep, that's fine. Good. So vampires are strategically making a decision to keep the blue pot only for emergency situations. None of us have any any pots that are free except for the vampires. I think that's that's a very interesting strategy. Number six. Where are we going to put number six? Okay. Um, yellow. So yellow. Yeah, if you put yellow, uh, the number six in here, one plus five is equal to six. So that's right, that would explode. So um, wizard is saying uh, blue. Yep, we can put the six in there. Yeah, no problem, wizard, you're good. Okay. Oh, Raider is suggesting nomenclature here. So Y is for yellow, R is for red. Um, so six red for zombies would be six R Z. Okay. So again, Raider, I really like your, your attempt to communicate with me very efficiently and, and, uh, yeah, that, so that's great. So we've got, um, B R Y for blue, red, yellow. Uh, you could use that if you guys wanted to use that. So Raider is saying six red for the zombies. Um, so six red for the zombies. There we go. Thank you, Raider, for that um, clear communication. Okay. So let's see. 
what otherwise. Red for the zombies. Yep, we've got the red for the zombies. Looking for number six for which group? For the superheroes. Red for superheroes. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Shukli. There we go. We've got red for the superheroes. And for, uh, oh, yeah, we just need over here for the vampires. And the vampires, uh, they can't add it here because 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And they can't add it here because 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. So it's going right there. Done. 7. Yellow is for emergencies. Yeah, so the zombie strategy is now that a yellow is only for emergencies. Okay, Blue, wizard, seven, blue, got it, got it, okay. Next, um, seven, um, for the vampires, red vampire, seven, red vampire, no, you can't do that. That would explode. Um, seven Y Z. Seven Y Z. That's okay. So Y Z is yellow zombies. Got it. Got it. <laughs> okay. We want seven over here as well for the vampires. That was I think Moore said that. Yep. Okay. And lastly, for the superheroes, we have. Number seven, where's that seven going for the superheroes? Where are the superheroes? Uh, superheroes, superheroes, where are you? Oh, blue, sorry, blue, there we go. Thank you very much for saving the superheroes there. Heatley, awesome. Okay, next, number eight. So, is anyone in trouble? Oh my gosh, the superheroes are in trouble, they've got Eight can't go in here, three and five is eight, two plus six is equal to eight. Oh, but they luckily have the yellow one left over. So I'm just gonna put it in there. I'm gonna help the superheroes. There's no other way for it, other place for it to go. That wasn't very interesting turn for the superheroes. Um, what about for these guys? Oh yeah, for the vampires, wizard eight um, should be wizard for eight. Ozuna is going to let someone else choose the wizard for number eight. Okay. Um, nine blue. Eight RV. Eight vampires red. Got it. Got it. Eight vampires red. So that was Deckel. Thank you, Deckel. Okay. And so we're now looking for the zombies. Eight blue zombies. Okay. There we go. We've got the zombies taken care of. And lastly, we want the wizards taken care of. Um, where are the wizards here? Yellow for the wizards. Okay. There we go. Good. We have got to number eight. That's, that's good. That's as high as... I, I'm actually going to tell you guys. That's as high as you can possibly go for the the two pot solution. You can get to eight, but you can't get beyond that. You guys got to seven before. Uh, you can actually get to eight without an explosion happening. Okay, number nine, where do we put it? Okay, we have number nine. So yellow is in trouble here. It can't go in yellow. It can go in red and it can go over here. Nine blue zombie, nine blue zombie. There we go, nine blue zombie. I'm gonna start a new row here, there we go. So, oh, and Willis says nine yellow zombie. So we have a dispute, but I have already done it. So nine red vampire, nine red vampire. Okay, so there we go, nine red vampire. And so I, like red is really stacking it up high on that red one. And that, that looks like an interesting strategy. 
Okay, nine for the um, for the wizards. Oh, red superhero. Got it. Got it. Okay, thanks, Heatley. Okay, um, ponder, ponder. You're good. You you've already got it. All you're all right for for number nine because none of those numbers two, three, four, and eight. No two of those numbers add up to nine. So you're okay. Okay. Uh, nine red wizards. Wizards. There we go. Done. Done. Okay. We are up to ten. Looking good. Looking good. Ten blue. Um, for the vampires. Now, is there no way that you could add it over here? I guess not. No, two plus eight. Yeah. So you have to go to your emergency pot, the blue pot. I guess you could have added it to the yellow. Okay. Um, next, 10 uh, yellow vampires. Yeah, Deckel says 10 yellow vampires. Um, what, what, I don't mind, what, whatever. 10 blue vampires. Uh, we're not at 10, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, we are, we're at 10, 10 blue vampires. Right, okay, we're gonna go it. 10 yellow zombies, got it. 10 yellow zombies, there we go. And superheroes, where are we with superheroes? Red for the wizards, there's red for the wizards. And for the superheroes, uh, 10 yellow superheroes. Yep, we can do that. 11. So everyone's still alive. Everyone's still alive here. No, no one's been um, gooped with uh, with an exploding cauldron. With, uh, I don't know what's in those cauldrons, but it doesn't look tasty. 11 yellow vampires. 11 yellow vampires. Again, I like that decal. Nice Nice crisp language. Eleven BS <laughs> blue superheroes. Got it. Eleven blue superheroes. Got it. Eleven yellow wizards. Got it. Okay. Yep. Five plus eight is thirteen. So yeah, we're we're still okay. Eleven. Um. So we just have the zombies left here. Do we have any zombies that have said anything about a number 11? Mm -hmm. Is there no way to go on for the zombies? Are the zombies messed up? Oh, the zombies have crashed! Oh, no! So, yeah, the zombies are out of it. Um, but let's see, can we can we help the zombies out? Let's give them one last chance. I'm going to be really nice to the zombies. I've got a friend who's a zombie, so I want to just, I'm just going to say, what that, let's imagine that that 10 was over here. How about that? Is that possible? Yeah, that's possible. A little bit of kindness to zombies never goes awry, right? Okay, so now they can put the 11 there. <laughs> yeah. I've got a few friends who are kind of zombie-like. <laughs> okay, there we go. So my kindness to zombies shows up. Okay, let's see. Um, three plus eight, one plus ten. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're good. There we go, Herndon. Yeah, save, save the brother. <laughs> okay. Number 12 it is, 12, BV, 12 blue vampires. Yes, we can do a 12 blue vampire for you. There we go. And 12 blue vampires. Yeah, we've got the 12 blue vampires. We've got the 12 blue wizards. There we go. Is that okay? Yeah, that looks okay. And 12 blue superheroes. Does that look okay? Um, five plus seven is equal to 12. Uh-oh, uh, that's not good. Yeah, the superheroes are in trouble. Are they, can they go over here? They can't go over here because four plus eight is equal to 12. The last chance is in the red one. Is this gonna work? 
9 plus 2 is equal to 11. Oh, good. Uh, at least the superheroes can get out of this with their superhero ability. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're okay with the superheroes. The wizards are dead. Oh, no, that, that's me. I'm going to have to do some creative um, manipulation of the, of the pots, too. Okay, go ahead. Number 12, who else has to go here? Um, yeah, the zombies. Are the zombies doing okay now? Are the zombies okay with 12? They can't go over here. Um, yeah, they can go red. That's right. Okay. Um, 13. So are the wizards really dead? 5 plus 8. Yeah, that's 13. Um, 9 plus 4 is 13. And 6 plus 7 is 13. Oh my goodness. Can... Okay, so I let the zombies off the hook. So can can someone place? Um, uh, what what could we do to help? We can't place the twelve in a different position. Oh, the the, the wizards need a lot of help. Yeah, maybe we maybe we just say that we died. I don't know. That's that's kind of sad. Oh, that's my group. Ah, okay. So yeah, we'll say the. The wizards are officially dead. So, oh, wizards, you can join. You can become either vampires or you can become superheroes or you can become zombies. So you can choose. Okay. McLaughlin chooses um, eight for the red. Oh, McLaughlin wants to put this eight over here. Okay, does this... No, that doesn't work because 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. No, the, the wizards are officially dead in the water. Their thing exploded. They are gone. I am going to make a giant X to celebrate the sad occasion of the death of the wizards. Let's just go like that. And the wizards are out of here. Bye-bye, wizards. Okay. So number 13 for the rest of us. The vampires, where are you going to go? Five, um, 13 red zombies. 13 red zombies. Uh, yeah, that, that looks good. You can do that. Willis, the, the wizards have have died. It is a sad, sad day for me and the rest of the wizarding community. But we shall rise again a different day, maybe Monday, <laughs> with some kind of resurrection spell. Okay, but for now, you guys get to join the superheroes or the zombies or the vampires. Okay, and the wizards are gone. Yes. Okay, let's go. Well, what are we doing for the superheroes here? Oh, um, Raider, you, um, three numbers, we don't worry about three numbers. We're just interested in two numbers adding up to the number that we're adding. So, yeah, Raider was saying um, for this one here, 2 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 13. That's true. But for this, whatever these frogs are doing in these pots, it's only two frogs that um, are dangerous, not, not three. So 2 plus 5 plus 6 to have those three frogs. That's not dangerous at all. Okay, so um, 13. Um, so just one last thing, Willis. It does not work to move the eight from yellow to red because we have two, we had two already and 10 already in red. So two plus eight is equal to 10. So it doesn't work. So the wizards are officially dead, dead, dead. Okay, they're gone, they're gone. We're finished. Okay, not again. Let's yellow superheroes. Yellow superheroes, does that work? Uh, yeah, that, that's good, that works. Okay, and for the vampires, we need somewhere to put this. Yeah, what are, we, what are we gonna do for the vampires? 13 yellow vampires. 13 
yellow vampires. Good? Good. Okay, 14. Uh, things are getting nasty here. Things are getting nasty. So 14, we have the vampire saying blue. We have the... Uh, oh, other people are saying 14 should go in red for the vampires, but that's okay. I've got it fixed there on the blue side. Okay, go ahead for um, the superheroes and for the zombies. 14 yellow in zombies. Yep, that works, that works. 14 for the superheroes. The superheroes lose? Are you joking? How can they lose? 11 plus 3 is equal to 14, 12 plus 2 is equal to 14, and 13 plus 1 is equal to 14. Ah, the superheroes are gone, 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 superheroes. You have to choose to join either the vampires or the zombies. Okay, here we go. What are we going to choose? We are going to choose for the vampires. Okay, go ahead, vampires, where are you going to put it? Zombies, where are you going to put it? Number 15. So, where are we going to put that? 15 blue zombies. Let's see. So, we have... 3 plus 4, yeah, 4 plus 8 is 12. Yeah, I don't I don't think we can get to 15 with anything there. So that's good. That's good. You guys have done it. The zombies are still alive. And the vampires. Vampires, red. Vampires, red. Does that work? That works as well. You guys are on to 16. It's the zombies versus the vampires here, everybody. And there's no more moving around. You can't move anything. That was a special case to resurrect the zombies because you know that zombies don't really, really die, especially from an exploding, gooping pot. So I resurre resurrected the zombies once. But not again. I, I, if they run into problems again, they're, they're gone. 16, yellow zombies. Is that okay? Does that work? I think that's okay. Yeah. Okay. And for the vampires. Okay. 16, red vampires. Are we okay? Is that good? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Card 17. Go zombies, go vampires. Uh oh. Vampires one? Okay, let's see. So 17. Yeah, you can't put the 17 here because 16 plus 1 is equal to 17. So you can't put it in yellow. Can you put it in red? Let's see. 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. You can't put it there. Can you put it over here? Um, eight plus nine is equal to 17. Oh, the zombies are gone as well. All right, you guys, the vampires have won. <laughs> Yes, you did it. Good. So how high can you get with three pots if you were to play this game again? How high could you get? So that is something for you guys to think about. And if you're ever bored, like in a bank lineup, all that you need to do is have a pencil and paper and you can draw yourself three pots and you can try starting with one and you can't, uh, you can't move numbers around. You put the number one on, you can't use your eraser, then you put the number two, then the number three, and you go as high as you can. And yeah, uh, 
I'll, I'll give you a clue. I only had, um, like, I've never been able to do better than 25. I'm not even sure if I got the 25 or not. So, yeah, I, it's like, it's really hard. And I know that you can't go as high as you want to. Like, at some point, it will come crashing to the ground, and you will not be able to solve it. Good. Well, uh, I am... Um, wishing you guys a very happy weekend if you can get over the fact that there are no superheroes in the world anymore that the wizards are gone zombies are gone and that we're only left with vampires in the world enjoy your weekend and i'm thinking of you uh quarantine is uh, difficult and i hope that you guys i hope everyone stays healthy you guys take care i'll see you on monday bye bye